Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So in this video I'd like to cover all of the party buffing companions. Those companions that are going to increase your party's damage as a whole. These companions could very well become like the new meta. Everybody wanting to use these because the top damage companions might just not be competitive anymore. We'll have to see where it ends up with regards to all these module 25 changes. So I've gone and favorited all of the companions that I own that have all of those abilities to increase the party's damage along with some of those companions which can increase the party's survivability and then some other just team utility buffs and we'll cover all those in this video. There'll be a table where you can quickly see all of them as well. Just keep in mind, this is module 25 where I'm doing the testing. So there has been some changes. For example, your Incubus and your Succubus have their Deadly Kiss ability, the cooldown reduced to 15 seconds instead of 30 seconds, meaning they can much more reliably have their vulnerability effect active, thus providing a more reliable, but still uh, not great team support buff for damage. And again, things are still open to change. The executive producer himself says that they are still working and going to change companions quite a bit before they go live with the next module. So we just test here in the training room. We get the DPS of each of the companions and I'll show them as well because that could be quite important whether you want to run the companion because it deals decent damage as well. So you might start with the alpha compi and it has this ability of call of vengeance. Ultimately, it's really terrible because the Alpha Compi has to be below 50% of its health. You're never getting that up, and it's only 1%. The Black Death Scorpion, on the other hand, is a really good team support. It allows you to gain permanent combat advantage against the target. Of course, that's not considering certain mechanics where the boss might not allow the Scorpion to be able to attack it, regardless of positioning. It basically uses piercers and activate the savage piercers, which causes him to yeah, take combat advantage damage from again, anywhere where you want to stand. The blink dog, exactly the same combat advantage benefit, but only half the uptime. Black Death Scorpion uptime is 100%. Bruner has the ability to increase everybody's damage resistance by 3%. You gotta be within 50 feet of him to gain this benefit. Cadbury, it's same effect, but 3% movement speed. The Cyclops War Drummer, that's 3% damage resistance, but he doesn't play that drum all the time. So you aren't going to have the buff from him all the time. Like he'll do it right from the beginning. You can see when he drums there, you gain a percussion and that's your damage resistance increased. His uptime is about 50%. The Diva Champion is decent with regards to being able to put a layer of protection on everybody. You see this shield, 5% of our max HP, and that can help. It stacks with other people's shields. So if I have, let's say, my Divine Shelter shield, it'll stack with his shield. My healing stats are garbage, so my shields are tiny. Then you have the Dread Warrior, which I'm not actually going to add to my list because yes, he can increase your power and he says it would increase your allies as well but apparently it's bugged and that doesn't work maybe that will still get fixed with module 25 we'll have to see there's a few other companions like that as well i'm just gonna have to remove from the list there's no point adding him he won't affect the other the team then there's drids who's really good much like the other companions of the hall a flat three percent bonus this is actually a multiplicative three percent damage bonus, meaning no matter what stats you have or anything, no matter how many debuffs or buffs you have, he will always give 3%. So he's really reliable and that's a solid 3%. You gotta be within 50 feet though. Then there's the Harper Bard, which does have its Bardic Inspiration, and he can give you power and critical strike. Now he only gives you 870 of those ratings, whereas there's a companion called Etrine, who's super expensive, who has that same bardic inspiration, but will give 2000. Now, again, hopefully with module 25, 
this will still get changed with the Harper Bard and this might very well become 2000 to those stats as well, basically putting him just as valuable as Etrian then. Who knows, but it's up time right now how it is, is only like 33%. Incubus, as we've mentioned, Cone, the Deadly Kiss, the vulnerability is 10% damage debuff, so pretty solid, pretty big compared to all other companions. And the uptime, unfortunately, though, is only a quarter of the time. So 25%. It does say a 15 second cooldown, but it takes like five seconds to cast it. So there you go. And then the duration of the vulnerability is only five seconds. Minsk, unfortunately, only gives 3%. And he takes forever to cast that area. And when he does, it doesn't last very long. And so the uptime is about 33% of a 3% increase to your combat advantage. Pretty terrible. Then there's the Neverwinter Knight, very solid buff to your defense of 2%. Decent, but no way going to compete with like a Bruner or e even, to be honest, the Cyclops War Drummer, unless you want a consistent buff, which this guy will provide. The Priestess of uh, Sahanine Moonbow should be good, but unfortunately, she's also bugged. She should reduce the enemy's critical avoidance and increase our critical strike. If she reduces the enemy's critical avoidance, that's basically increasing our critical severity against the target. So overall, this would be a very nice damage uh, increase, including a debuff. But yeah, this is bugged and she only reduces the enemy's critical chance by 100, so that's 0.1%, and increases our critical strike by 100. That's that's our stats here, that's minuscule. So she's still bugged. Hopefully she gets fixed again with module 25. Then there's Pseudo Dragon, just had a ton of damage it deals on single target, did get nerfed a little bit, uh, but I think that's kind of the baseline they want to have these companions at, but it can also make it so the target grants combat advantage, but again, only 50% of the time. Then there's Regis, just a flat 3% buff to your recharge speed. Don't really see it as a big deal. It'll probably be better for like people and classes with long cooldowns, but still 3% is minuscule. But an option, Shadow Elemental, just buff your stats. Critical Avoidance, 1.5% and Movement Speed, 2%. That's a useful survivability buff. It is very tiny though. Spine Devil, Probably one of the best, if not the best, damage increase companion that there is. Now, he isn't 100% reliable, unfortunately, with his impaling pitchfork causing vulnerability on the target. Basically, he'll throw this pitchfork and cause that target to take increased damage. He won't do it right from the start, as we can see with him here. There's no debuff on the Conjured Fighter, but now he should go and do it. Okay, so that's just putting a bunch of debuffs with his spines there. But now we got to wait for the pitchfork. There it is. There's a vulnerability. It lasts 10 seconds. And then he takes like another five seconds when it's off cooldown to go and cast that again. And so it's not up all the time, about 66%, but it is a 10% debuff. So it's one of the best. Better than the succubus and the incubus with a higher uptime, that's for sure. The stalwart lion very nice the fact that whenever you stand next to him you gain this buff right here of Aurelent coalition basically if we stand next to him and we take damage from this guy right here you can see that you'll get these shield markers and that's the lion intercepting the damage of those hits we don't have aggro so we're not getting hit but you can see it right there you get the more of those shield markers so he's really good if people group up on him for survivability and additionally he can give a little bit of damage increase through the radiant weapon unfortunately it's a minuscule buff and it's not up all the time it's like 66 percent and it's only an extra damage hit it won't add up to too much, but I guess he can be useful, especially for the survivability, I would say. And there's a succubus, exactly like the incubus with regards to the deadly kiss ability and the vulnerability it causes, lasting only five seconds instead of the spine devil's 10 seconds. And then we have the tutor, which is a very nice, reliable boost to your stats. You do have to be in a full party, so of five people, and then you'll all gain 5% combat advantage. That's one of the offensive stats that DPS players want to get to like 90%. So uh, it's pretty useful just for a nice, 
reliable boost. His damage is pretty garbage though, so you want to run him on like a healer or a tank. Again, you got to be within like 50 feet of him in order to make use of this class in session. And then we have Wolfgar, which he just has a 3% boost your action point gain. Again, I don't think it's all too useful, just more of a utility buff, something you would use if there's nothing else. And then finally, there's Zariel. I believe there's also Sordiel you can use, who has the power right here of Shatterfall, basically making it so that the target takes increased damage, but by only 1%. The uptime on it is a abysmal like 10% because it's only a chance when she does her ability to cause that vulnerability yeah it's it's pretty terrible there she managed to uh, proc it you can see it just up there and the uptime is only like five seconds four seconds and so it's pretty yeah not reliable and uh, only one percent so overall that is all of the debuff companions I own excluding Etrine and outside of that, I don't believe there's any more. Now here you can see my entire table with regards to all of those party companions and the buffs they provide. I do have it a little bit color coded with regards to purple being the ones that grant combat advantage against the target and then blue being more the defense related ones. Like Stalwart Lion also has a bit of offense and you can see that on the right side there, like Spine Devils in number one spot because of the 10% debuff and a 66% uptime will total on average about 6.66% damage increase. Just keep in mind it's a debuff, whereas Dridst is a 3% multiplicative buff. And yeah, that's never going to be reduced. Whereas if you have the Spine Devil and you're in a trial, you can see it ends up only like a 4% damage increase when you have all these other debuffs already. You're going up by 10% there. And so this being only 66% uptime makes it not as reliable again as something like your Dridst. And uh, even then, maybe not as reliable as just taking the tutor. So yeah, he is in number one spot in an ideal scenario. Most groups, however, will just take like a tutor and Black Death Scorpion or a tutor and a Dridst. They take the tutor because people like to have capped stats and it helps with that. He also works in a trial where you only need to have one person having him and he'll also give that 5% to that other party, that other full party who doesn't have him summoned with him. And you can read through the rest of them there and ultimately if you are running a trial, I would recommend somebody have Spine Devil, somebody has Drid, somebody have Tutor, and then probably, depending on the scenario, somebody have the Black Death Scorpion, or they have like Stalwart Lion if it's like Zariel or Tom where people can group up, or you just then have like uh, Succubus and Incubus for uh, damage uh, debuff, but the problem is that it's not very reliable with its uptime. You might not get that debuff when you want it and it does not stack with the Spine Devils. Just be aware of that. I'll leave a link to this chart down below and I'll probably edit it so that the Succubus and the Incubus have a note that they don't stack with the Spine Devil. Now you can see the DPS, the single target damage that those companions can deal. Like the Spine Devil is pretty solid at 28,000. Dreads only 21,000, same with the Succubus and the Incubus. But this Black Death Scorpion up there of 34,000 is like one of the best, at least with Model 25 so far that I've tested, aside from like Rumpadump and the Honey Badger. Again, you can check my document for the different companions listed. That's down below in the video description. And you can see the rest of the buffs there. Again, just keep in mind the Harper Bard. Hopefully that gets increased like Etrine to 2000. I have not tested Etrine, but if she has 100% uptime and you make use of the power and crit strike, that's like a 2% damage increase. It's just, yeah, I don't know the uptime, so I can't guarantee that stat. So I place her at the bottom along with then I don't know her DPS since I can't test her. She's too expensive for me to go and try and get from, let's like, say, the auction house. But again, if you want like survivability, I would take like Stalwart Lion, Bruner, Knight, Diva, Shadow Elemental, 
is probably the best ones there for reliable survivability but then like the cyclops there like the last option we'll see what happens but yeah we'll see how many changes they can still make before module 25 comes live and they might still work on them even though module 25 launches massive thank you again to all of these channel members for their added support you can support me with little as one pound a month hopefully i presented this well if i did consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now